Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to add text to your SVG in Inkscape. This is my SVG that I made in the previous videos for converting your sketch to an SVG and then adding color. If you want to go ahead and watch those first, you can do that. To add text, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the little text tool. I'm just going to zoom out with the little button down here and then I will add some text on the top by just clicking and I'm going to type my text. Then I'll click my select tool so that I get out of the text box. And now I can go over to my little text panel. If that's not showing for you, then go up to text, text and font, and then it'll show up over here. So I'm gonna click on that and you can change the font here. I'll pick almond nougat because I love that font. And you'll see that it doesn't change right away, but it changes down here you'll need to click apply for it to actually change up here. So we can also change the font size and then we can click apply. If we grab the text tool again, then we can change the font size up here as well. And we can change the font here and we can do like line spacing, spacing between the letters and all that. Now I'm going to show you how to put the text on a curve because I always like text on a curve. I think it looks so cute. So let's click on the circle tool and we'll make a oval or a circle, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to grab my select tool and I have the circle selected and then I'm going to press shift, hold it down and click the text so that both are selected. And then I'm going to go to text, put on path. So as you can see, the text is put on the path here and the circle is still filled in. So let's click away so we deselect them and then just click on the circle and we're going to go over here to fill in stroke and let's set the fill to empty. So click the X and then if you want to be able to see the circle while you're working, you can go to stroke and put that on flat color. Now we want to move our text so that it's up here. The best way that I've found to do that is grab your text tool and then you want to click into the text. So you'll need to mouse over the text so you see the blue box and then click. And make sure your cursor is at the beginning of the text. So if it's not, then you can just use your left and right buttons on the keyboard to move the cursor. And once it's in the beginning, then you can add some kerning. So up here where we have horizontal kerning, change that to something bigger like 30 and you see it shifts over. So if we do 300, then you can see it's closer to the center. So you can kind of mess around. I do like that. And then if you want to get a little more exact with it, then you can create a guide. To create a guide, you're just going to click on the ruler at the top and drag down and there's your guide. Then you can make sure that the first letter and the last letter are at the same position horizontally. So like the L hits the guide, but the T doesn't, which means that we can shift it over to the right a little bit more. So I'll go back to the text tool and I'm going to click in the text and then move to the first letter and then I'll just increase this a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So now I can get rid of the guide. We can also move the text if we want to. So we can just grab this and move it so that it's centered over the cupcake. The next step is going to be to convert the text to outlines. In order for this to be in the right format for the Cricut, we'll need to have the text be actual shapes rather than editable text. So at this point, if you want to save this file so that you have editable text for later in case you want to change the text later, then I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and save this. So I'm just going to do file, save, and then I'll do file, save as, and we can do Cricut color text to shape or whatever you want to call it. And then we can save it. 
and then this is where we're going to have the text converted to a shape and at that point it's not actually editable text anymore. So let's click on the text and we have this blue box around it. Then we can go to path, object to path. Now if we click our node select tool and click on the letters you can see all these little nodes and that's how you know that it's converted to a shape. Now that the text is converted to a shape, we can actually just delete this circle. We don't need it anymore. So you can just click on it with your select tool and click delete on your keyboard. Now at this point, if you like it how it is, you can just go ahead and save and you can bring it right into the Cricut. And what I like to do is make the letters and the silhouette all be one object that way this letter positioning is here it's nice and centered and aligned and i don't have to try to put it in the right place when i'm ironing it onto a shirt or whatever i'm doing with it so to do that we just want to select the text and select the silhouette and combine them we do have all this other stuff in the way though so let's see which layer our text is on if we select the text we can see which layer we have it on by hiding the other layers. But look, I accidentally didn't select a layer before I started typing, so it's actually not on a layer. <laughs> so it's still showing when we hide those layers, which is weird. If the text happened to be on the vector drawing layer, which is all of the color things, then I would grab the text, do edit, cut, and then I could go to my silhouette layer and do edit, paste, and place. And then I could just hide my vector drawing layer and then these two would show. But I don't really have to do that since this ended up in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so let's grab both of these items. So we have the text and the silhouette and then we're going to go to path, union. And then you can see it actually didn't work because we still have this blue box and we have the blue box around the cupcake. And if you remember from my last video, one of the things that will cause union to not work is if you have stuff in a group. So what you'll find is that this is actually a group of all the little letters. So let's go to object, ungroup, and there's all our little letters. Now we can select everything and go to path, union. And now this will be one whole object and it will all cut out together with the Cricut. So now we can show our vector drawing layer and there is the color. And we can go ahead and save. You can import this right into the Cricut or change the little dots of the eyes to something different. So we can zoom in using the plus sign on the keyboard and then I'll use the space bar to move the screen around. And if I grab my node select tool, I can grab this whole circle here. And if it doesn't work, then just click on it and then you can do it. And then I'm going to delete it. So I'll click the delete button on my keyboard and I'm going to put a little heart there instead. So I'll grab my select tool and I'm going to grab a little heart. And I'm going to do copy, command C or control C on Windows. And I'll come up here and do paste. So command V or control V. And I'm going to move this up here. And since this was the fill, it is a little bit weird right here with the shape. So we can zoom in with the plus sign, grab our node select tool. And really, we just need to kind of get rid of this node and then it won't go down like that. So let's click on this node and we can delete it by clicking the delete button here. And then we can pull this handle in so that way it'll come to a point there. So that's a lot better. And you can mess around with it more if you want, like move it over or whatever you want to do. You can delete more nodes if you want to make it smoother. Now I'm just going to grab my select tool and I'll select it and I'm going to go to fill and stroke and then for the fill let's make it black and then I'll make it smaller. I do want to constrain the proportions while I'm resizing it so let's undo that and up here I'm going to click the little lock and now I can resize it without messing up the proportions. And then if we want to rotate it, we just click in the middle and then we get these handles 
and we can rotate it and then we can click again to get the other handles back and I'm just gonna put it right up here and now we will need to combine this heart with the rest of the text so that they all cut out together so let's zoom out and then I'm gonna grab the text which is really the text plus the silhouette which is why all of this is selected and then I'll grab the little heart and we will go to path union and now we have the little heart in there you can always double check by clicking the node select tool and you can see all of your little points so you know that the heart is in with there and there's the silhouette at this point we can save and we can go over to Cricut Design Space I'm in a new project here so I'll just upload and I'll do add to canvas here's our little cupcake and then you can see that the silhouette plus the text is all on one layer so that way the text will stay in the right position and then just like in the last video we have all our colors on these separate layers so that's it for adding text to your SVG in Inkscape if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. If you have any requests for future videos, of course, let me know. And remember to like and subscribe so I know to make more content like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.